April's edition of School Administrator Magazine delves into how school districts are using climate change and the environment as a backdrop for teaching and learning. This month's extra segment takes us to the Sierra Mountains in California. Every year, thousands of elementary school students visit Foothill Horizons Outdoor School, a facility that covers nearly 150 acres of forest, meadows, and creeks and serves as their outdoor classroom. We want them to learn about science, which means learning about science outside and getting curious with what's around them. We want to, them to challenge themselves personally and socially in this new living and learning environment. And then lastly, we want them to connect to nature. Students often work in small groups to study topics such as wildlife, plants, and the night sky. The program provides a minimum of five hours of science exploration and instruction daily. Hewitt says students are always engaged without distractions by things such as electronic devices and social media. Getting kids to access nature is instantly engaging um, and allows teachers to teach any subject through an engaging topic. The other bonus of getting kids outside engaged in nature is we already know that looking at green things, being in nature, paying attention is good for our mental health um, and our emotional health. So not only is nature engaging, but it's good for us and it's everywhere, which means you can access it and use it in the classroom, use it at schools for the benefit of the whole child, uh, which is what our kids need at this moment. An overwhelming majority of students who attended Foothill Horizons gave the school high marks. Being wowed by a shooting star, like that's what we do here at Outdoor Ed and we do it every week. What our staff sees and what our kids sees and our teachers hear is they hear that sound of wonder and joy, um, which is really the intersection of personal and social growth you know, new experiences in a positive living and learning environment, learning about science, and then really just connecting him to nature. You would provide suggestions on how school district leaders can create outdoor learning experiences for the students they serve. To read April's issue of School Administrator Magazine, visit the AASA website or join the conversation through social media.